All right, I'm gonna fish a stretch of the river I haven't been to in a while. Start off right here. Water's pretty clear, actually, surprisingly. I've had some rain lately, so I'm surprised the, the water's so clear with all the rain we've had. All right, I'm gonna throw this, this white grub I have. Uh, I put it in a bag with some chartreuse lures, so now it's kind of half and half. And it might actually make it a more effective lure. We'll see. So I got a fish. Yeah, I got a fish. I wasn't even sure about it, but he must have taken it as soon as it hit the water. It's a nice little quad. There we go. Little bitty one. But quads don't get very big. <clears throat> that was really my first real cast the first cast i it dug into the reel from the last time i was out here or the last time i was fishing i got snagged and the reel was it had dug into the reel so first cast over there and i got a fish immediately that shows you how effective these uh skinny sinkles really are because i was throwing tried and true grub worms i just had another one but he got off there two casts two bites and I was throwing grubs and swim baits here for a while. The grub, a couple of times, that's, you know, it's a classic white grub. I mean, I kind of dyed it chartreuse a little bit, but still, nothing, no interest in it at all. And almost immediate interest in the uh, skinny Senko. Oh, look, there's a bass cruising by. Two bass right there cruising by actually coming to check me out there. Oh, I had a chaser. Got him. It's a little, little spotted bass. <laughs> it's kind of hard to cast through right here because these columns are close together so you can't get a full cast over there. better not a whole lot oh it's pretty decent for a little quad I hate it when they get stuck in the cheek like that because it's so hard to get out and these hooks are too flimsy to do that to pop through like that It's actually back-to-back -back casts, I think. It just started raining. Come on. God. These things, it's too low, and they're too close together to get a good cast. 
even with that bad jazz I still had one chasing it there and it's covered in spider webs because it's smacked right against that flat surface there Oh man, had one there. Dead sticking it pretty much. It seems to be what's getting the bites right now. Oh, oh. I saw one come up and take it. This would have been the biggest of the day so far. I mean, it wasn't a massive fish, but it was bigger than anything else I've caught and it took me a second to react so when I set the hook it ripped the worm off just the little hit of the worms on there all right let's see if I can catch that same fish and get my lure back <laughs> there we go oh. nice quad This might be the one that swiped at me earlier and took the bait, but don't see the worm in his mouth. There we go. Good looking little fish. Fat too, been feeding pretty well. That was a pretty nice quad. It's probably about 10 inches maybe. Which that's, that's the biggest one of the day. That's probably the one I saw earlier. It came up and swiped at it and took the bait, took the worm off the hook. But uh, who knows? It's starting to rain a little bit again. I think that's uh, four fish already. Not bad. I haven't even been here all that long. I haven't even been here an hour. I've already got four fish. Where were all these fish during that tournament? These things, they work so well, but there's just no durability to them. I've got two different types of uh, skinny Senkos, the same size and shape, slightly different color, definitely a different material. These work better by far. But you just burn throw them through them so much it gets expensive the other one's a little bit more durable i caught well, i had three fish on it before one of them pulled it off the hook and then this one got the one that pulled it off the hook There we go. Got him. Let him take it for a while. Ooh. It's another little quad. All right, this one, I'm gonna have to crimp off the barb so I don't rip his eye out. Stop. Stop moving. I might be able to actually help you here. Just grab my pliers, crimped off the barb. It's still sticking out a little bit, but it shouldn't be as bad. There we go. Came right out, and you should be fine. Well, that's five fish in less than an hour. And we've had the last three tournaments on the river and barely anybody caught anything. And here I am fishing the river just for fun and all these fish are hitting me today. All right, whenever, whenever I'm throwing my ultralight, this is my go-to bait for the ultralight. It's just a, a 
black and chartreuse grub on a little jig head, like a 16th or 32 ounce, 1 16th or 1 32nd ounce jig head. And uh, they're almost as effective as the skinny Senkos. These particular ones I get from American Tackle. So. kind of hard to find this pattern there oh I had one just inhaled it there but I didn't get the hook set first cast with the grub I think I got one yep oh <laughs> the wind was carrying it upstream and had a little guad come and grab it there we go Nice coloring on these quads. It's probably my favorite fish. Even though they're all small, it's my favorite fish to catch. Pretty good bite today. Maybe it's because the weather's cooled off. It's been, it's probably the coolest it's been in a long time. It's a little rainy, not too rainy. It's overcast. Just good conditions for today. Oh wait, there we go. It's a little better. Oh, he choked it. Whoa, stop. Stop jumping around, I'll get it out. Okay. Wow. It's He's not gut hooked, it's just way down in there. Gonna need my pliers for this. There we go. Came out, he's not bleeding. That wasn't gut hooked. It was in the roof of his mouth, just way down in there. Another nice little quad. I was actually thinking about moving spots, but this spot's just producing so many. I've already got five just right here. And I've only been here for about 20 minutes. No, that, yeah, five there. No, six here. I think I got one. There's another one. I had one at that first spot way up there. And then, yeah, that was it. Then I've got six, seven here. Eight total. Another little quad. This one's real skinny. My two most effective baits all year long. Like some people change up baits with it, uh, depending on the season, but all year these work. And all year the skinny singles work. Those are easily my most effective baits. Everything I've, I throw works, but these are my most effective by far. Because I've got like three in a row and back to back to back casts here. There's another one. Oh, he let go of that one. But there we go. See, that's how effective this is. They're just, they go crazy for these little grubs. And then if I want to, that's if I'm using the ultralight. If I'm using a heavier rod, can't really throw these little grubs on a heavier rod. So I throw the skinny Senkos. And those are even more effective than this, really. But this is, I don't know, this one, I think they're about even for today. I've got eight fish, say four, probably four and four maybe. I don't know, three and four, three and five, something like that. They're, they're pretty evenly matched. This one's working its way up to becoming one of my go-to baits, or it is one of my go-to baits now. It, it's working its way up to surpass the skinny Senko, really. Because when, when nothing, when fish aren't biting anything else, they'll bite the skinny Senko. And when they're not biting the skinny Senko, they'll bite this. All right, I'm up to eight so far. And I keep getting bites on just about every cast. And they're all bass too, and usually, Fishing small baits like this, I get some sunfish mixed in there. Alright, well there you go. Uh, my two most effective baits are the skinny Senko and the uh, three inch worm or grub worm from, uh, from American Tackle. Uh, the colors I prefer to use are, you know, 
the they call it the Xander special on the grub from American Tackle. Uh, it's used up north for fishing for Xander. But here it's kind of a baby bass pattern. It's like a chartreuse green with a dark or green almost black all across the top. And then the skinny sink goes, uh, I use two colors. I use the a regular watermelon color and the material that's made out of is kind of like a yumdinger so it's a little bit more durable but not quite as effective as effective as the uh, the other color which it's supposed to be a watermelon green with a gold flake but it's really more like a Christmas tree like if somebody took one of those fake plastic Christmas trees and melted it down into lures that's what it looks like so um, yeah those are my my two most effective lures and it's actually pretty early so I'm gonna go grab some other gear and shoot another video so thanks for watching and see you around